let's talk about some important things to look at when we look at angles formed in the coordinate plane. I'm drawing some examples here and have a little bit of vocabulary for you to write down. So for my first example, I drew a positive 30 degree angle. So when it starts, when your angle starts at the X axis and then goes up like in a counterclockwise direction, it's a positive angle measure. So that one is a positive 30 where this one goes in the negative direction. So I think about when it starts on the X axis, this one went down, so it's negative, and that one went up, so it's positive. Or it's counterclockwise for positive and clockwise for negative, if you want to remember it that way. Then I drew two more pictures here because sometimes you can be given an angle that's more than 360. So if you remember from the coordinate plane, a 90 degree angle would be straight up, 180 would be halfway around the whole coordinate plane, and then this one would be 270, and this one will be 360. But what if you go even further than that? You, you can just add them all together. So if you start here, like I did with my marker, and I went up, so it's positive, but I go all the way around a whole time right there, so that's 360, but then it kept going. So I would add the 90 right here, plus the extra 30, and usually they'll give you whatever that amount is, or they'll give you a way to figure it out. So I did 360 plus 90 plus 30 for a total angle measure of 480 degrees for that one. Another example is what if I start on the x-axis, but I go down. So again, like this one, it's negative. But I go all the way around one whole rotation, so that's 360, plus another half of a circle right there, which is 180. And then I was told that is 30, so that rest of that angle I'm trying to find the measure of would have been 60 degrees. So I did 360 plus 180 plus 60 more gave me a total of negative 600 degrees. And again, it's negative just because when I started, I went down and around, or you could think of it as I went clockwise. All right, so a little bit of vocabulary we need to write down. So it's good to make a note of what makes the angle positive versus negative. So if it goes up or counterclockwise, it's positive. And if it goes down or in a clockwise direction from the x-axis, it was negative. The terminal side is important to know if they refer to that. The terminal side is the ray, like my blue ray right here, where the measurement of the angle stops. So where I measured it and it stopped, just that little ray is called the terminal side of the angle. So that one and that one, that one right there, and that one right there. Those are the terminal side. Coterminal angles are angles that would have the same terminal side but have a different degree. So for example, a 120 degree angle would have been with that if I had started right here and gone over to where this terminal side is located, that would have been 120 but negative 600 shares that same terminal side, so they have a different angle measure, but they share that same ray for the terminal side of the angle. So that's a good example. Like I say, if you start here and go over to that side in the positive direction, it was 120, but in the negative direction, we went all the way around and then some, and it was negative 600, but they share that same terminal side. They are co-terminal angles. And reference angle, is the angle formed by the x-axis and the terminal side for any given angle. So for example, we're going to look at some on the next board actually, so save that thought. But I'll show you what a reference angle means. It'll be a little easier on the other examples I have. All right. So the first three examples are reference angles. A reference angle means like, for instance, if I'm given this red angle of 120 degrees, the reference angle is the shortest distance from the terminal side to the x-axis. So just that leftover part right there would have been the reference angle, and that's 60 degrees. In the middle, I'm given this angle in red, that's the given angle, of 225 degrees. So the reference angle is from that terminal side to the x-axis, what's the shortest distance right there? So the reference angle is 45 degrees. So it's from the terminal side to the x-axis. How much is there? So that was 60, and that little part was just 45. And over here is another one. This one's negative, so if I start in the negative direction and go all the way over to 280, then I know that that little angle right there 
between the 90 and this terminal side was 10 degrees. That's how I know the reference angle is from that terminal side back down to the x-axis. So that was just 80 degrees. So those are a couple of examples of what reference angle is referring to. And then I put a few more examples of coterminal angles to help you understand that a little better. So a coterminal angle would be that they share the terminal side. So for example, a 30 degree angle or a negative 330 degree angle share the same ray for their terminal side. So they're called coterminal angles. A 135 degree angle and a negative 225 degree angle also share the same terminal side. So they're considered coterminal angles. And then I put one that's at 90 degrees. 90 degrees would share the same terminal side as negative 270 degrees. So those are just a few more examples to help understand what this focus